Hello and welcome back to Boxing Social in association with Betfred. My name is Eamon Khan. We're here in Wembley. I'm with Dion Juma. Commiseration, sorry, Dion, first of all. How, how are you feeling? Yeah, I feel right. He called me a good shot. I think it was round eight. And um, yeah, that's all she wrote. Dion, talk, talk to me about coming through what the game plan was for Richie Rackford. It's a fighter that you know well. What was the game plan coming into this one? Just to take away his um, strengths and take advantage of his weaknesses and I feel like we performed the game plan well in some rounds. In other rounds I switched off a bit as you saw from the first knockdown and the later knockdown. Looking on social media online and people at ringside saying that you were picking up the rounds very tricky and causing Richard Rack all those problems. Did you see that success that you were having there and did you see that um, but for obviously the ending of the fight that you were going to go on and continue to cause those problems? Yeah, I, I saw those problems. Uh, we knew we were going to create those problems. Um, but after the two years out, I feel like I wasn't able to capitalise on those problems like I would have two years ago. So I feel like um, inactivity was my enemy here. Talk to me through the first knockdown. You were on the offence there. Richard came up with what was a really good shot there. What, what happened there? We've been, we've been training for that. Um, blind hook that he throws and um, I think I just got a bit too comfortable and um, he baited me into it and caught me nicely. Good shot. And then the second knock, uh, knockdown which was towards the end of the fight which was uh, a body shot there, what happened there too? It was a weird one because it wasn't even that hard, it was just mm. perfectly placed and um, as I said that's all she wrote. There's a lot of opportunity in the cruiserweight division. By no means does the victory put you back in any sort of way, but what do you want next for yourself? Obviously, rest will be top of the agenda, but what's next for Dion Juma? Anyone at the top of the British rankings or even going international. So we've got there's Chris Billum Smith there, there's McCarthy there, there's, um, I, I don't know, just these top guys. Obviously, I, I told Richard already I'd like to go again. But that fight, um, as I said, I was two years out. It takes its toll, you know. So I was two years out of the game, went in against a world-class fighter. And um, this is what I had to show everyone. But I've got a lot more in me. Word on Richard, who, who move on. A lot of people say he's got world title potential in him. Do you see that in him in the time that you spent in the ring with him today? What, uh, world title for Richard? Yeah, potentially. Yeah, yeah one day. That's, that's, what, that's what we're all aiming for. And... Um, yeah, I'd like to fight him first, but he's probably going to get that opportunity. So hopefully he gets it. Word on your fans as well. You had a number of your own fans there in attendance who were loud and shouting for you. Just a word on them too. Sorry, say that again. A word on your fans here. They were loud, shouting for you, supporting you throughout the fight. A word on them. Oh, amazing. We had an amazing turnout. I had many old friends, family, um, people from BXR, people from where I used to live, people from Lever Grove. Like, just amazing. Uh... Yeah, good turnout. Dion, thank you so much for speaking to Boxing Social. Commiserations on the defeat. Look forward to seeing you back in the ring soon. Thank you so much.